I don't even trust that I know how to do this anymore. But here we go. Oh my gosh, this plant. Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Ashley and I am a part-time reseller based in Toronto, Ontario, Canada. If reseller content is your jam, I would love for you to give this video a like, subscribe to the channel, and that way you'll get notified when I make a new video. And if you're new, be sure to leave me a comment down below saying hello because I love to connect with this community. I have a thrift haul. It's been so long. I feel like I'm so out of practice, but things have been closed in Toronto for three months. Four months? I don't even know anymore. And things finally opened up again a few weeks ago. Now there's talk of a third wave, so they might close again. I don't know, but I got some thrifting in and I can't wait to show you what I got, both to sell on Poshmark and for myself. I'm gonna take you through this pile of clothing and then I'm gonna show you some shoes and I am really excited. So these jeans were one of the first things that I found and I was really excited to find some new jeans because I think I'm down to like maybe five or six pairs in my closet and I really love selling jeans. I've got a whole video on selling jeans which I will link up above. But these jeans are a very popular style and they're new with tags. So they're called the Dojo style. They're by Seven For All Mankind. And the Dojo is, they're like a low or medium rise. They've got these very wide flares at the bottom and they're a very popular style and they do really well on Poshmark. And I was like, new with tags? Hello? Thank you, thrift gods. Like, what did I do to deserve this aside from waiting four months to find these? So anyway, these are great. Um, they're a size 31. All the seven from unkind jeans have like a seven on the back pocket and this one has it in kind of like a lattice work, which is interesting. Oh, it's actually holes. Oh, interesting. Okay, well that's a fun detail. Anyway, these are fab. It looked like new with tags dojos were going for like 50 to $70. So. I was really happy with those. As I said, one of the first things that I found and I was like, yes, thank you. If I find nothing else, we'll be good to go. I actually waited in line to go thrifting each time that I went in the past couple of weeks because they're at reduced capacity in the stores. So I just threw a podcast in. I was just happy to be outside in a place that wasn't my house, the grocery store or the post office. And so this was good. Citizens of Humanity are another brand of jeans that do well for me. This is a style I've never sold before. It's called the Fay Wide Leg. And it kind of reminded me of the Dojo because it's a lower rise and then it has a wider leg. And these ones were in a size 29. They've also got some intricate details on the pockets. And I just thought they were fun. And knowing that wider leg is in style because they gave you the Dojo vibes, I decided to pick them up. And these are in pretty good condition. When you pick up jeans, you always want to look at the bottom to see if there's any fraying or distressing or just general wear, especially with these wider leg jeans that tend to drag a bit more. Comps on these range between about $22 to $65, so we'll see how they do. I don't usually stop in the pants section, but I'll kind of like go buy it and do like a very quick scan. I just don't love selling pants. Jeans are in a different category for me pants, not really my thing. When I saw the red Spanx tag, you know that I picked these up. These are called the jean-ish legging, jegging? These are called the jean-ish legging. So they give you like a denim vibe. They're in a lovely material. The pockets in the front aren't actually pockets. The pockets in the back are, but these are in great condition. They're a size small, they're a skinny leg, and you could just throw them on as an alternative to leggings. And I thought these were great. And it looks like comps were between 40 and 65. So these were an excellent find, and I was glad that I perused the pant aisle in that short time that I did, and was happy to find these. More jeans. Oh yes, these. Yoga jeans are another brand of jeans that have done well for me, and I really liked these yoga jeans, and they had these like patches on them. And I was trying to find a version of the yoga jeans with these patches on them. So I think someone might have embellished them themselves, but I'm not 100% sure. I'm gonna do a little bit more digging, but I just thought they were really fun. So they're a skinny style in a size 25, like a medium, let's see what kind of rise they are. I haven't photographed my denim yet. So I haven't done measurements. Oh, those are like a nine inch. So we're getting into like mid to high rise territory. Anyway, these are cute. Lighter wash, they've got that embellishment on them. And it looks like right now yoga jeans are going for between 20 to $40. If you've never felt yoga jeans or tried them on, definitely check them out the next time you're in a thrift store. They're just like 
a regular denim, but they've got more stretch, so they're super comfortable. And yeah, I just, I thought these were really lovely. Speaking of yoga jeans, this is a yoga jean skirt. So sometimes it'll say second yoga jeans, sometimes it'll just say yoga jeans, they're both the same. But this is just a really cute, basic denim pencil skirt. Actually, I actually wanted to try this on for myself. I might keep it. It's in a size 27, and there didn't seem to be a ton of them on Poshmark, but I feel like if someone knows yoga jeans and loves them and loves that stretch, they would like this skirt. Comps are between 20 to 50, so who knows? It's in really great condition in this lovely dark wash. It's got a little slit in the back. Love it. These are Adriana Goldschmidt, AG. These are the Farah Skinny, the High Rise Skinny, and they've got some intentional distressing. They're in like a lighter medium wash, skinny leg. They're in good condition. I really like these. These are in a size 30 and these are great. And it looks like comps were ranging between 25 and 75. So I'll probably price around the $50 mark and see how it goes. Last pair of jeans are a pair that I've sold many a time and it's the Rag and Bone Skinny Jeans. These are in a size 24. I can't help but pick these up because I know that they sell even in a smaller size. They're in a Preston wash, it's medium. They're a skinny leg, medium rise or low rise. And I've had good luck with Rag and Moon jeans selling, so I figured I might as well pick them up. Comps are between 30 and 50, and that is the range in which I usually sell them. I also found a pair of jeans for myself, and I was really excited. So I saw these page jeans. I've never actually worn page jeans. I've only ever sold them. One thing with page jeans is to always look to see if there's any puckering or like stretching in the crotch area. These jeans had a little tag here, like a little tie, almost where the hang tag would have been. So I think they're new without tags, like they have no wear. So these are the Hoxton Slim Crop. They've got a cute raw hem that someone has cuffed up. I don't know if it comes like this, but I tried them on and they fit perfectly. And these were a great find for me. I was really happy. They're a high rise, they're super comfortable. And I was really happy to find a new pair of jeans for myself. It's always a good day when you find Lululemon, especially Lululemon pieces that you know sell. And this is the Lululemon Swiftly Tech t-shirt. It comes in a whole bunch of styles, this Swiftly Tech. It's a specific type of fabric. It has the Lululemon logo on the front. It has the logo on the back and it's made of this material. They do it in a tank. It's in the T and it's also in a long sleeve. I sold a bundle of three of these for $85. And so as soon as I saw this at a good price, I was like, yes, you are mine. I don't know what size it is. There was a size dot, but I think it's just been washed too many times and you couldn't see it. So there was a size dot here. It no longer lives here. These are great and you can get it at a good price and comps are between 20 and $40. When you go sourcing, do you tend to source for brand or for style? Let me know down in the comments what your go-to is. I think I start with brand and then look at style, though there are some things that I'll see that catch my eye and I will investigate further to see if I wanna pick it up because of the style. This dress was one of those things. I just thought it was so cute, perfect summer dress, this polka dot. I love it. It's got some ruching in the back and buttons all the way down the front. I just thought it would be like the perfect summer dress. The brand is called Jaffna. This is in a size medium and the comps were all over the place. Most of them seemed between like 15 to 30, but then there was also some dresses that had sold for 60, so I have no idea. It's 100% rayon, which is really nice and lightweight, and it just felt really nice. So I think this is a really cute style, and it was on sale, so I picked it up, and we'll see how that does. I also tried it on, and it looks terrible on me, so that is going to be going into my Poshmark closet for sure. When I found this dress, I was so excited. It's so cute. The brand is Damsels in This Dress, which is a local Toronto designer. They have two stores in Toronto, one in Leslieville and one in Ronson Sills. And I love their stuff. I used to shop there a lot in my 20s and my early 30s. I stopped shopping there as much, but I still love their pieces. And this dress is super cute. It's like a faux wrap dress in this pixelated, floral pattern. It's just a lightweight midi dress. It's really, really cute. And I just thought this was a perfect dress for spring and summer. This is in a size small and there weren't a ton of comps. In fact, one of them was a skirt that I've already sold, but I think I'll probably price it around 40 or 45 and see how it does. Oh, this one's cute. I really like mod cloth and I don't know that I've ever seen a mod cloth sweatshirt, but how fun is this? It's called the Count Von Lips sweatshirt. It's a long sleeve sweatshirt giving me some Halloween, some Rocky Horror vibes. 
and it's in a size medium, it's long sleeve, it's just a basic sweatshirt aside from the cool graphic on it. There weren't a lot of Canadian comps, but it looked like US comps for this specific sweatshirt were between 18 and 22, so I'll see how it does. As you go through your journey as a reseller, it's great to get to know brands, and sometimes you'll spot a piece and you'll know instantly what brand it belongs to. And I saw this, obviously, look at it, it has a neon yellow print, but I knew it was anthropology even before I looked at the tag. And I was right. It's an Android brand that I'm not familiar with, but it's Vanessa Virginia. So if you ever look here and you see a tag that you're not familiar with, usually there's one down in the side. I also have, oh my gosh, Riley, stop. Sometimes this tag will say imported for anthropology. Sometimes it won't. This one does, but then it also has the RN number, which is 66170. Those RN numbers can be a really helpful tool in finding out what brand something belongs to. So you'll start to get familiar with some of them when you see things like the anthropology one. You can look them up online if you're unfamiliar or if the like the brand label is missing and that could be a really helpful tool in your reseller tool belt. I thought it was a super cute skirt for summer and it looks like skirts for anthropology are currently going for like 20 to 40. Speaking of skirts, oh my gosh, this pineapple skirt. How cute is this? Stay crew, size zero. It has pockets. It's just, it's adorable. I love it. I don't know if I said, it's a size zero and I thought this is the perfect spring summer skirt. I am kind of obsessed with it. Riley, please stop. J. Crew skirts going for 15 to 35. This one just so cute. This was another piece I found on my first thrift trip when I found the new with tag dojo and it is Everlane, which is lovely. And this is a sweatshirt dress. How fun is this? So it's a long sweatshirt. It also has pockets put pockets and everything but it's really really great super easy to wear with leggings bare legs live your best life there's some fuzz here that I'm just gonna try and remove while I see it throw all fuzz and go on the floor super cute it's an extra extra small and I love this pink color and it is great Everlane does really well for me I've only ever picked up a couple of Everlane tops but their jeans have always sold really well no no Ooh, another sweatshirt. The theme of this haul is great jeans, skirts and dresses in really fun prints, and cozy athleisure, which I think is a really popular category right now. And this Lululemon sweatshirt falls into it. So it's called the Lululemon All Yours Hoodie. It is a long sleeve hoodie with a pocket in the front. Very cute. It's also got a spot where you could put your MP3 player in there. I don't know. And like connect your earbuds through you can just have it all in there. Didn't have a size dot or tag or marking at all, so I think I approximated it like an extra small based on measurements. It's in pretty good condition. The black is a bit faded, but I've just notated that in the listing. I think it still has a lot of love to give, and comps on this sweatshirt were between 50 and 70. Last but not least, a very cute denim jacket that I'm just gonna put on because I think it would go really well with my romper. It is Topshop. It is a cropped, oversized denim jacket in a size four wait for it wait so cute not really my style but it is like a popular style right now a bit oversized for my taste but i think someone will really like it got a cute raw hem oversized fit giving me like 80s 90s vibes comps on the jacket were between 20 and 45 and because as i'm making this it is march it seemed like the perfect time to pick up a piece like this because it'll be great to wear in like april and may with a cute little dress a romper you know, that kind of thing. I remember when I first started on Poshmark, I got really excited about Topshop because I saw that in one of the popular brands party, Topshop was on that list. And I was like, yes, I must pick up Shop Topshop. It probably does well. That's not true. It does okay. I think it really depends on the style and the category. So just being mindful of the Topshop pieces that you pick up. That is a timeless classic denim jacket with a fit that is very in style right now. So I picked it up. Last thing before I show you all the shoes is this top I picked up for myself. It is free people. I'm not sure of the size, but as soon as I saw the sleeve hanging on the rack, I was like, oh, I think that's free people. And I picked it up. Initially, I thought about selling it, but then I was like, no, I love this. And it has such a cute little shoulder moment. Got a lot of fuzz on it right now. Don't judge me, it needs to be washed. And I was actually really excited because I am giving a talk on Monday after I make this video. I'm making it on the weekend, giving a talk as part of the Shine Speaker Showcase. I'll put a little graphic up. Anyway, and I needed something to wear for my talk. 
This is so cute for like a Zoom call or a talk and I'm really excited to wear it. In one of my last videos, I said I was missing selling shoes because they're a great category for me, but because of the ways that I've been sourcing, I haven't come across many shoes. That all changed because one, I was able to go thrifting again and two, because I was sent a coupon for 40% off shoes. So I was definitely on the lookout for some great shoes to sell for spring. There are so many of the shoes. Do you pick up Toms? Let me know down in the comments. I don't think I've sold any Toms. I have looked at them. I have one pair of Tom's desert boots listed in my closet right now that I got from a consignment client, but these I saw and I thought they'd be perfect for spring, summer, and they don't look like they've ever been worn. Like there's a bit of wear on the bottom where the sticker is, but that's okay. Like I, these don't look like they've been worn. So they're called the Stella Wedge. They're in this like dark navy or black denim. They've got a cork wedge. They're very, very cute. I love it when comps are all over the place. These range from 20 to $70, but I think these will do well. I had also picked up another pair of Toms and ended up returning them because when I looked at the comps, they were between like 10 and 20. They were also in excellent condition, but the style just didn't seem to do well. So something to be mindful of when you find Toms is just knowing what style they are and really doing the research to see. It's not a one size fits all to say, hey, that brand does really well. Sometimes certain styles will do really well and be in demand and others won't be. These Toms, yes. Other ones, maybe not so much. These are some Kate Spade Keds. I think I saw these at the thrift store on one of my last thrifting adventures before things closed. And then I saw them again when it reopened and I had a coupon. And so I was like, hello, you look great. So they're Kate Spade Keds. I knew from the pattern just because I've seen a lot of them that I also have a pair of these, not in this print, but they looked familiar to me. They've got the Kate Spade, I don't know if I can show you. But yeah, it says Kate Spade on the tongue of the shoe. They're just a really great everyday basic shoe. I just need to do a little bit of cleaning on them around the bottom of the shoe, that white area, and comps were between 25 and 50, so those were fun. I had to pick up these pink Converse, even though there was a couple things about them that made it so I probably shouldn't have picked them up, but they were such a good price and on sale. They have a bleach stain here. Oh, and the Converse logo is kind of scraped over there. I'm gonna disclose all that in the listing. I just love these. Who doesn't love a classic pair of Converse? Like, chucks are such a staple. The Toms were a size eight. The Kate Speed Keds were a size eight. These are a size that is smaller than an eight, which is, da, 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 da. these are a women's seven or a men's five. Anyway, super cute. I love Leopard. I'm really struggling with whether I should keep these or not. These are from a brand called Peter Kaiser. And when I looked up comps, they were pretty good. I didn't write them down. When shoes are a six or a nine, they really should put the little line. I mean, usually you can tell. And I'm pretty sure that these are a nine because they fit me and I am definitely not a six. They're a very cute leopard print flat like a very flexible material. The back feels really comfortable. They're in pretty good condition. They do have some wear on the soles here. Anyway, we'll see if I put these in my Poshmark closet or sell them. They'd be so cute, like with this little outfit. If I put the little jean jacket on and put these on, adorable. These were a brand that I wasn't familiar with, but when I looked at the style, I thought they were so cute. They were leather. They have this little sling back that was also in good condition and they were a great price. So I decided to pick them up. They're called Salamander. They're a German brand and it seems like they retail for quite a bit. There weren't a ton of comps, maybe because they're not super popular here, but I felt like with the cute style, with the leather upper, that they might do pretty okay. They are a smaller size. They're a five and a half, but we'll see how they do. <laughs> On my page of comps, it says 70 question mark. Last two pairs, two identical pairs of shoes, different colors, different sizes, found at different stores. They're the brand Matinette that is a vegan brand that does like vegan leather. I have a couple pairs of their shoes. I actually have a bag that I bought on Poshmark from them and I love their stuff. This is called the Anais Flat. These are a size nine in the black and these are a size six in the rose gold. I wish that these were a little bit bigger because I definitely would have kept them. I don't need the black ones. I don't need either, really. When am I wearing these shoes? They're a really great style, a classic shoe, like flat Mary Jane with a little bit of a heel and a strap with a buckle. That's the black pair, the rose gold. I love these. It's on my early thrift hauls. I had a bunch of shoes in rose gold. So these fit right into this category. And it looks like comps on matte and matte shoes were between 25 and 50. 
both of those are in excellent unworn condition, so I'll probably price them closer to the 50 mark and see how they do. It's felt so good to get back to thrifting. It's been so much fun. Going through this haul has been so much fun and I'm excited to see how all these pieces do. My goal is to get all of this stuff up in my Poshmark closet before this video comes out. If not, it'll trickle in over the next couple of days. I need to photograph all of the jeans and all of the shoes, but I'm planning to do that this afternoon. But if you see something you love, be sure to leave me a comment or go check out my Poshmark closet. Let me know what you've been picking up on your sourcing trips and what's been doing well for you. And if you're also in a place that's just reopened, how has thrifting been? Let me know down in the comments. Thank you so much for watching this video. If you enjoyed it, please be sure to give it a like and I will see you soon. Bye friends.